All right, so now we come to the segmentation series, which is probably one of my favorite uh, phases, one of my favorite parts in the entire automated follow-up machine that we deploy, because this is really uh, what, what sets this strategy apart from what a lot of people do. Um, allowing people on your, on your subscriber list to raise their hand and say, okay, yeah, I'm actually interested in this thing you're talking about, so that they can then be put in an engagement series. It, it just it, This is how you go about emailing your list more frequently, um, but only to those people who actually want to hear from you. So to everybody else, you're actually emailing less, right? So you're emailing, you're communicating more frequently with the people who want to be communicated with, uh, and you're communicating less to the people who don't, and it's the segmentation that makes that possible. Now, in our machine, we have a ton of different segmentation series that are de designed to do a, a lot of different stuff. We've got segmentation series that work if you're running a sale, if you're trying to get somebody to, to sign up for a webinar, or to come into some type of video-based uh, launch or training, a lot of, lot of different ones. So you might want to check out followupmachine.com so you can learn more about that there. Uh, but this one here, the Goodwill campaign, the reason that I gave you this one, this really is your bread and butter. I mean, this is a campaign that if you wanted to run this one every single week, with just tweaking it up a little bit, um, you could pretty much run this same campaign every uh, every single week. And, and I gave you some structures. I know in the in in the in the previous example for for how you could go about um, doing that. But uh, I want to just show you really break down this goodwill campaign. It is a three part campaign. So it, with this, if you were going to email your list, then you would send it three days in a row, typically. So you might go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with this campaign. Now, a lot of people say, God, it seems like I'm mailing my list a lot, you know, three times a week. Um, the thing to keep in mind with this campaign and the reason it's called a goodwill campaign is that you're closing with content. Okay. You're closing with content. You're not closing with throat grabbing, hard hitting scarcity, right? We'll save that for the engagement series, right? You're closing with content. So you're basically kind of sending out a couple of emails telling them about the content that's coming their way. So in the first email, it, we call this blind. So this, the structure that the Goodwill series follows is BDC, blind, direct, and then a content mail, blind. So with the blind email, this doesn't reveal the topic, Okay, it doesn't really reveal the topic. The blind email is really just here to segment off the people who are most excited about you and your brand. There are the people who basically say, look, if Bob is interested in this, then I'm interested in this. So here are some sample subject lines, and this one here is not a joke. We've actually used this photo in closed do not bend when we've used photos in there, in emails. Um, but you could say, you know, this flat out works, you know, one word, crazy. It, it just, it's blind to the topic. So you got to see this right? I got to see what? Now, if I don't care about you or your brand and, and somebody says, oh man, you got to see this and I don't know who they are, then I'm probably not going to pay attention. But if I do care, then somebody says, whoa, you got to see this. If I perceive you as an authority and I receive this email from you, okay, I got to see it. I want to see what's on. You know, if you're on my list, it's fair to assume that you, you know, want whatever that desired end result is. If so, then this is the ideal next step. Link. Check it out. Now, again, notice there is no mention of the topic of the lead magnet. It is purely, I'm excited about this. You should be excited about it too. Go check it out. What this is going to do, this is going to segment off your most engaged people. Okay? This will segment off your most engaged people and get them <clears throat> moved over onto an engagement series sooner rather than later, which is where you want them right? You want them on an engagement series. Remember, that's where the money is made. So, and we want to get our best people. Let's get them off sooner rather than later. Let's not distract them. Hey, I'm really excited about this. Go check it out. Your most engaged people, boom, they're gone and gone in a good way. They're gone. They've moved to an engagement sequence where they can then be offered the, a product related to whatever the topic is. Now, let's say that somebody's not as engaged, right? They're, they're not as engaged. Even if they are interested, they're not as engaged. They don't see this. That's fine. This email is designed to be forgotten. It's not designed to make an impact. They look at it, it's forgotten. So they don't really feel like they necessarily got an email from you. Now, on the next day, then we're going to say, you know, we're going to open the email series and be more direct. So presenting, whatever the topic is, free report, free video, case study. So this is where you're coming right out and saying, I've got this great lead magnet for you. Here's what it's about. Have you ever wanted to know, insert whatever the desired end result is, whatever you're teaching, whatever the topic is in your lead magnet? Well, now's your chance. Link to it. Recently, I wrote or recorded or rolled out a report or created a widget or whatever, a 
produce the video on this thing and I want you to have a copy. You can access it here, go and get it, do it now while it's fresh in your mind. Right? And then we're kind of hinting again down in the PS at the desired end result. This is pure, pure, pure topic-based engagement. So somebody could have no interest in me or my brand, but if they're really interested in this topic, if they really want to know how to do this thing, then they'll say, I don't remember who this is coming from, but I know I want this. Let me go check it out. So whereas the first email, the blind mail, email number two is designed to segment off people who are brand engaged. Okay, they're brand engaged. Email number two is designed to segment off people who are topically engaged. So there might be some people who they do know you and they do like you, but they don't necessarily know you and like you well enough to, to jump on the blind mail. But if they're interested in the topic, okay, now I'll go and check it out. All right, now I'll go and check it out. Now there are some people who, who are in the show me first category. You know, I don't know if I should care about this desired end result. Right? I don't know if I should care about this. So that's where the third email comes in. <clears throat> and the third email isn't really email. The third email, as I say here, should just be pure content. So this is where you would send out, if you do an email newsletter or if you publish a blog post once a week, then this is where ideally the content that you're sending out that week is relevant to the lead magnet that you produced. Okay? So the topic would be relevant, the topic of the content would be relevant to the lead magnet. So now you would simply come out, let's say the previous two times we've been talking about, you know, creating a, you know, creating a, how to build your machine, right? This would be a blog post, right? Now, just because you are sending content, it doesn't mean that you can't still link off to your, to your lead magnet landing page, okay? Now you could do this a number of different ways. So here's one way to link within the content. So saying, hey, I've written a brand spanking new article, um, you know, outlining the exact email marketing system I've deployed. And this right here would link off to the blog, this first one. This system I call it the machine, and this would link off to the landing page, right? These link off to the landing page, and further down, this links off, uh, they link off to the blog. So it is a content article. It's a content article, or it, it, because typically we don't send content in the emails themselves. We like to send out emails saying, hey, go read the content, it's on our blog. And that's what I actually recommend that you do too, okay? You send out an email to your list. Hey, you know, we just did a new blog post. Go check it out over here. They click on it. They can go read the blog post. And then you might link to the offer down in the email itself or in the PS. Okay, in the email itself or in the PS. You could also not link off to your, you could still link off to your blog content. So this is an article, you know, we wrote about, you know, tips for Google. You can see it today on the Digital Marketer blog. You learn how to do AdWords like a pro, right? And then down in the down here, we have a an ad, right? The ad is about you know promoted post cheat sheet. So the this particular post was about traffic, and then here we're talking about traffic, okay? So and this was done with an ad. It was pure content up here, and certainly linking off to pure content. And then this is done with with an ad. Now, if you are sending the content in the email itself, well then you can just run ad blocks from within the content. And that's what we used to do. This was our old style over at Survival Life. See really long email newsletters and we would put advertisements in the email itself. So whether you're putting an advertisement in the email, whether you're using ads, whether you're interlinking within the content or doing some combination of all of them, the point is when you're running a Goodwill series, you're gonna start off with a blind mail that they get your, your brand engaged people. Then you're going to send a topic based one. Then you're going to send content that is content heavy and it is not necessarily designed, but there will be people who read it. They go over, they click on the content. They see that it looks really, really good. Then they get excited and they say, okay, I need to, I need to check this out. Right. And then they'll hopefully come back to your landing page and sign up. Right. So this is a simple three part segmentation series. That is a goodwill campaign. Now, if, if you want to, expand it from three emails to five, you could simply respond, you know, send out another email similar to email number two later on, right? If you wanted to email your list more times a week trying to get them to engage. If you wanted to email less, then I would drop the blind email. So I would go the first day, you know, maybe on Tuesday, for example, send this and then follow up with content the next day. And I do like the idea of having my emails back to back. I know a lot of people think you should spread them out. It's actually more impactful in a segmentation series if you bunch them together. 
It may seem counterintuitive, but it's more impactful if you bunch them together. So there is a simple segmentation campaign that you can send out three emails, boom, 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 closing with content. So it's not going to get your list upset or have them saying like, oh, you're just pitching to me over and over and over again. Cause you're not, you're closing out the series with content. You're giving them a break. You're coming back the next week and you can repeat the topic again on a totally different topic, right? Maybe going to the same lead magnet, maybe going to a different lead magnet. Okay. But this is how you're able to run this again and again and again with a simple goodwill campaign uh, that you now have in your toolbox.